Ooh, what's up, Internet? My name's Nerdy. And I'm Claire Roos. And this is Interview with a Vampire, episode number one. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I'm doing an accent. This is on AMC+, Plus, so that's a streaming service you might have. Yeah, we have it now. <laughs> but everybody's like, you guys have to do this show. you got to watch it. you got to mm -hmm. react to it. Um, it's very queer, and so we were like, all right, well, I'll Let's yeah, I'm it. stoked. I, I like excited. I like the uh, Brad Pitt movie a lot. Me too. I think it's a good movie. Yeah, fun. The old young Drew Barrymore being all precocious and awesome, uh, much better actress than she should at that age. Uh, so <laughs> I'm jealous. Dare. Just just a little bit jealous. Drew Barrymore, I isn't it? Is that who it is? Is it not Drew? Bar I, isn't Drew Barrymore the little redhead girl in that? I thought for some reason I thought it was somebody else. Who? Interview. I thought it was like Kristen Dunst or something. That's who it is. Oh, it is I that. think you're right. I was like, Drew Barrymore, are you sure? All redheads are the same to me. They're not all... Okay, sure. <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> Let's get into this. If you want the full-length direction, go over to patreon.com slash nerdy nightly. Mm -hmm. But for uh, now, let's get bitten. Let's go. This program contains subject matter related to mental health and suicide. Oh. Immortal universe? Is this the new dark universe? News used to be a bunch of guys who looked like me, huddled around a desk at a page one meeting deciding what the news was. This little fucker changed all of that. I've been Is this a masterclass parody? Your sources are your Sherpas. Your editor is your priest. Honesty is not a tactic. What is this? I... I'm Daniel Malloy. Okay, so, it, okay, this is the show. This just doesn't feel like what I thought it was going to yeah, feel Yeah, like. I'm, like, very confused. I also thought this was going to be a period piece. Me too. What this subvariant business? I mean, is that more contagious? Is it... Uh-huh. Is this set during COVID? I don't even own a CD player anymore, let alone a cassette player. Are we about player. to like listen to actual interviews? With the vampire. Dear Mr. Malloy, I hope this letter finds you safe and thriving. If such a thing were a possibility in this bleak hour. During COVID? The passage of time and the frailties that accompany it have provided me perspective. I feel like Abu Dhabi is a dangerous place for vampires. A lot of sunlight there. Oh, is that where this is? Yeah, that that the f that plant looking city is a fake city that they built in either Abu Dhabi or Dubai. I can't remember which one. And here's another question. That's the sun out there. Where's your coffin? You're standing in it. Disrespectful. Ooh. You were not worthy of my story then. Maybe your story wasn't worth telling. I don't do puff portraiture anymore. And yet you got on a plane with an autoimmune disease in the middle of a pandemic. <laughs> got him. So, Mr. Dulac, how long have you been dead? <laughs> the year was 1910. It was kind of a clunky beginning. Yeah. But the intrigue's there, and I think the act is pretty solid. Yeah. You couldn't look weak on Liberty Street. Damn, Doris, you're going to lose your good leg running out like that. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Cunny hit me. Oh, I'm a cunny now. A minute ago, I was his love. He stuck it in my shit box. Gave him a chance to pull out, he kept on fucking. So I gave him a little squirt of my catfish dinner for going there. Ooh! Put a dick in an asshole without asking. That's against Jesus. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> That's against Jesus. Wow, this is gonna be something. 
Listen to me, please. You're having a fucking night, okay? I can't have it with your food. Get on home. Yes, I'll bleed you like a cochon, bro. Oh, wow. A little casual French there. Cochon is pig in French. You couldn't look weak on liberty. You never knew who was watching. I remember, I was like, oh my god, that was so hot. I'm so aroused. Pulled a knife on his brother. But when Paul's mind was right, he was no burden. Point of fact, I loved him more than anyone on earth. The costuming department is just crushing it. It's nice because it's not all like muted and desaturated. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like you don't get to see that as much. They don't have that like yellow filter of like, look, it's old. Yeah. yeah. This building is gorgeous. I need to take you to New Orleans. Mm, this yeah. stuff's all still there. Oh yeah? Yeah. It is the best like architectural city in America. How'd you manage to get yourself through the front door? Excuse me? I mean that as a compliment, a man of your race to have privileges here. I've emptied a bank vault sampling, I must say, but it was not until a few nights later. Quand je regarde un homme sorti un couteau de sa canne et presser la lame sur le stomach de son prêt. Does it sound like the French is recorded differently than the English? Like they ADR'd the French in? I thought it was the weird, like, tunnel. I, I don't know. Only it turns out the saint is not a city, but a handsome man with a most agreeable disposition. You're his destiny, Louis. <laughs> Where was yours, monsieur? Please get my friend here anything he wants. Wonderful to meet you. I had come there for Lily, but I left thinking of only him. Hot. Bisexuality's weird like that sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy that this used to be a job. I'd be great at this job. I don't sleep well. I'm up anyway. I'm very tall. It's true. Great arms. Delicious ass. You know, I'm just... Just a snack walking the streets. I, I would get turned into a vampire so fast. Yeah. They'd be like, oh my god, he's so yummy. <laughs> the speed effect they're using looks really good. Yeah. With their theory, some new kind of rat has come ashore. Of the six foot variety. <laughs> we call those bureaucrat in front. <laughs> <laughs> we met already, Mr. Anderson, sir. In front of a florist, wasn't it? We both wanted the last bouquet of lilies. <laughs> Miss Leon Corey, your hand is incomprehensible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I'm terrible at cards. Did I not mention that to everyone? <laughs> He's sharking. Everyone's gone home broke. Do you not know your value? This is really cool. Yeah! This is like fun and dramatic and... Yeah. Like a little silly, but in a good way. And do you think two pair will win the hour? I believe there is great opportunity in this city, but to seize it, I'll need protection from the wolves. <laughs> Full boat, Mr. Dulac. <laughs> he wouldn't tell me how he did it. He was in love with my city and wanted to know everything he could about it. Yeah, just your city. Is that a euphemism now? Out cat with some white man out here. Yeah, he white, he French. Oh, that's a new kind of white, is it? French white? <laughs> Invite him over for dinner. 
Now, y'all gonna be in steerage out of New York. Oh, Once you get to Europe, it's first class on boats, trains, and hotel rooms. What did you go and do? <laughs> she put the band by the deck and the food by the Aww, That's very sweet. <laughs> we should go on a honeymoon at some point. It's been two One years. Day. I mean, we, we went to Disney World. With my friends. That's true. And what exactly is the nature of your relationship with my brother, Monsieur Leon Kou? <laughs> We're friends? <laughs> the birds asked me to ask you. I wasn't being rude. The birds? John. Are you one with Christ, Mr. Leon? How about you shut your damn mouth? Louis? Uh, that's all right, Louis, madame. The, the birds speak for him. <laughs> all of it. Stop. And so, to answer your boring question, there is an ocean between Christ and myself. Stop. Just because cela satisfera, was emporté dans la gorge de votre esprit. Don't do that shit here. Jesus Christ. And the rudeness is all mine. That's all right. It's the humidity. It does that sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most southern. The humidity. It ain't easy to work, I do. Nothing but broken souls around me, and the ones that ain't broke, greedy, bone tie. Drink up, my good man. I feel the same way about YouTubers. Nothing but broken souls and greedy. <laughs> Twitch streamers are even worse. Ugh. Wow. I bought you a gift. A gift? Are they about to go have a threesome? I think so. All right. What's the little song playing? Do you like it? Is AMC allowed to show nudity? Miss, I once knew. Yes. Yep. Yes, they are. I've been watching you for some time now, Louis. From river to lake, lake back to river, looking for my companion heart. How you do that? Do what? Do what? <laughs> 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 I don't know that we can show any of this on YouTube. Yeah, I... Yeah, I don't know that we can either. That's I, safe. I thought this show got spicy later, but it's like... Oh no. Spice. Episode one. Yeah. Dome bien, Miss Lily. Is he putting her to sleep with an orgasm? By touching her belly? I feel bad for Lily, she's missing the best parts. I know, like, all right. That's so sad. I, I would be so upset if I like fell asleep and found out that I missed out on this. Like. Right. <laughs> We're both so bisexual. <laughs> At least let me watch. Like. Yeah. Oh. Okay, maybe I understand now why she had to be asleep for this part. That's a <laughs> nice ass. You have a great butt. Yeah, but not like. I'm. Your butt's pretty great. <laughs> it bears was... repeating. I did not mm. consider myself a homosexual man at the time. I mean, I had had experiences. <laughs> not gay though. <laughs> no homo. No homo. No homo. I was like me when I was twenty two. I was like, yeah, no, I, I sleep with men, but I, I'm. But not, I don't actually. I'm not gay. I'm a straight yeah. man. I just, you know, sometimes fool around. <laughs> Oh, she looks gorgeous. I love like old style wedding dresses. Yeah. What is with the broomstick? It's a tradition. I don't actually know what it's about, but. Not a witch! Half of y'all don't know this, but these no good boys used to shuffle for pennies on Sunday. <laughs> I remember their collection hat didn't always make it to the collection plate. <laughs> shoes are tight. Oh, the shoes is fine. It's the feet that's fat. <laughs> What kind of rhythm you want, boss? You play it loud so they can't hear our feet. <laughs> <laughs> I love that she had a tap floor ready. <laughs> Let's go. Oh! <laughs> 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 
They look like they're actually doing it, which is nice. This is fun. Yeah. Oh, let's go. This is awesome. <laughs> Well done. That was fun. That was so good. The thing that sucks about Canadian money is $1 bills are so useful for things. Like throwing at something like that, like having them to like tip with. Mm. Not like tipping with coins sucks. Yeah. $1 bills are much better for tipping. That's fair. Go oh, miss it. Who the fuck I have to concentrate? It's them three pieces of checker cake holding you back. <laughs> yeah. Anything else, the buttons on your vest gonna pop off like cannonballs. <laughs> wow, the color of that sky is gorgeous. Oh my god, I am so scared somebody's gonna fall. Hazel, who that? The one you were dancing too close with. If you dance that close, you ought to be married. I didn't catch your name. Well, it's Hazel. <laughs> Their relationship's really beautiful. Yeah. Tough, but Still you know. doing business with that man Lestat? Cause he the devil. You think everyone's a devil. He's here to take souls, he told me so. Mother made a good party for Grace. Mm, yeah. And they're gonna talk about this one for years. I love you, Louis. And I love you too, baby brother. Paul. Paul! Why? I don't know, but I saw that coming. I don't miss the sun. The reminders it carried. I've seen death over and over and over and over again. <clears throat> the diagnosis you received, Daniel, it winds your clock virus it's turned the world sideways i get it i'm gonna die you don't get past the gates if and you kill yourself don't you know that paul gone down the other way paul's in hell because of you fuck i was having a lot of fun with the show i know that wedding was beautiful. The big man of Liberty Street trailing the satin-lined evidence of his failure. Oh. oh, that line. He would not let me come to me. Come to me. Well, stop, what you doing? Talk to him tomorrow. Yeah. Miss Liv. Oh, my dear. I don't care if she's busy with someone. I'll pay more. Okay, I like Miss Liv. And I need Miss Liv. Miss Lily died, Mr. Dulac. Two weeks ago. What? Said she contracted the fevers that's been going around. Blood went and dried up inside her. Did Lestat? Or... Blood went up and dried up inside her. Oh my god. <laughs> He's in New Orleans. Calm down, son. Get your breath. That's... But Louis not gonna find out until like the end of the season then it's gonna blow up. The big man in the big house stuffing cotton in my ears so I can't hear the cry. And Lord, I drag my family into He's this mess with me. A majestic performance in the show. Truly. Even just in this one episode, he's just the range is incredible. I lost my mother and sister, and rather than fix it like a man should, Lord, I run like a coward. What the? How can you humiliate yourself like this? <laughs> this is wild! I'm not the devil. 
You were wrong about that. But I can't give you death. <laughs> I would love it if he slipped on the blood too <laughs> in slow motion. This is fantastic. Well done. Well done. What the hell? This show. Too, and none of them your true nature. I don't remember this in the Tom Cruise movie. <laughs> the Brad Pitt movie? Is it Brad Pitt and Tom Cruise? Oh, is it Tom? I don't know. Yeah, it's the two of them. Your beautiful face. I saw that sorrow. I did not know how it got there or why. I love you, Louis. You are loved. This is like deeply manipulative. Be my companion. Be all the beautiful things you are. And be them without apology. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I feel like I'm suddenly sweating. The hands through the... Yeah, that, why I... <laughs> Drain me. I open my eyes. I was fast. Yeah. And we sat there for some time. Hoping no one would come in and find us. The end. The beginning. The wheel of time. <laughs> wow. Oh, this is smart. Yep. Yeah, where we need to... Mm -hmm. Um. Wow, that was one of the craziest things I've ever watched in my life. I have never been... I've <laughs> never had a moment like... I just was not expecting that in the slightest. The, that punch was... Yep. <laughs> the mm -hmm. craziest fucking thing I've ever seen. I'm just confused because I, I this is like on TV. Yeah. And so like, I'm like, how, <laughs> this went so hard. Yeah. And I'm in so many different ways. Like what a, what a pilot. What a like, what a pilot. Yeah. They, they went for it. And yeah. You know why I think this works though is because they fully go for everything. And they, oh, yes. they fully go for some stuff that I think doesn't work, right? I don't think the master class thing at the beginning worked for that me. That was strange. I, I, it was a very... <laughs> the beginning was clunky. As soon mm -hmm. as we flashed back, yeah, yeah. I was like in 100% of the time. And we had everything. We had mm -hmm. like absolute like joy. We had mm -hmm. fear. We had like um, had sexuality. We had like... Like devastation. Like, the, mm -hmm. I have never felt so many things in one hour. <laughs> like, yeah. I, I, I think, wow. honestly, if they just had a little bit more money, that they, this would have been like one of the top things I've seen this year. Yeah. And yeah, it, yeah. It, it still might be, right? Like, once you get to the end of it, but like, yeah, who knows? The, the only limitation of this, I think, is AMC's budget mm -hmm. a little bit. But in terms of, like, the caliber of the acting's incredible. The caliber of the, the costume and set deck for the New Orleans stuff in the past yeah. is unbelievable. Yeah, right? I, I don't have the, like, a knowledge to comment on the authenticity yeah, yeah, in yeah. any way, shape, or form. But just to me, as a layman, it looks good. I am immersed. And, like I said, I liked that it's not, like, yellowy, like, old... Feel, like. That's the that's the word though. I don't care if it's authentic because I don't know. Yeah. If you're one of those people where like, oh no, that sleeve is uh, from this decade, and I, good for you. That's fair. I like, don't have that information. Yeah, so I would never know. Success for me is not authenticity. Yeah. It's whether or not I believe it or not. 
And I fully believe it in this show. Yeah. And I think that that is why I'm saying that it's successful. There might be, like, callers that are from the wrong decade. And, like, that's for a YouTube video that's a little bit sassy and whatever. Like, good for that. And it's it's important to, like, acknowledge that. Totally, But yeah. I also acknowledge if I am not thinking about it during the show, mm -hmm. that is the most successful thing for me. Yeah, totally. Yeah. I had like, I have never gone from, like, such, like, a joyful, like, place watching a thing to just absolute, like, emotional damage. Like, mm -hmm. the, the wedding to... His brother's suicide. Like I, I the tap dancing. I, I mean, I, I was eating that up. I love mm -hmm. tap dancing. That something that brings me joy. And um, the the music in it, the happiness everyone felt, and like I knew like bad things were going to happen in the show, but like I just I was not ready for that turnaround. Like it was. It was so violent. Yeah. It was. And, like, I feel like I should have known because that blood splurt out of the, the guy's face in the brothel was so much blood. Was, yeah. So, impressive. like, they, they're allowed to do it. Um, Yeah, that was that was insane. I, I really love the decision to make um, Louis black. Mm -hmm. I think that it adds a dynamic to the narrative of this in that... I don't think I fully understand yet, and I don't yeah. think I can fully appreciate it until I see where they take the story. Yeah. But it does add an element of... It, it, it changes the relationship between him and Lestat in a big way. Whereas, you know, in the in the Anne Rice novel and in the... Which I read in, like, eighth grade. So, like, forgive me if I don't... I, I've, I've seen I've seen some reviews of this. Um, most... Not from, like critics but from like um like audience reviews of people scene. who are like this is not Anne Rice's book like they've taken too many liberties that's fine I don't remember what the original novel I, I like I remember that he interviews a vampire and that's about it I remember being good but like whatever mm -hmm. um the liberties they've taken in making him black just it, it makes it so much more complex than I think when Tom Cruise turns Brad Pitt into an uh, he takes an equal and makes him an, an equal again. Yeah. Versus this, which is taking someone who he has a very unequal position in society with and offering this opportunity to be able to break out of something. That, but but that thing that will still hold him back in other ways, I, I think it's going to lead to some very interesting storytelling that in an important way for an adaptation, like the Interview with a Vampire is not a movie that people remember poorly. It's no, a great film, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And so if you're going to do something new with the property, do something new with the property. Yeah, absolutely. And this is doing something new with a property that allows them to use Anne Rice's vision and use this incredible story that she wrote to tell a story about modern times. And that's what I like in adaptation. Yes. And so yes. I'm really excited for this. And it helps that um, the the lead guy... Uh, I, I Grey Worm. I, I don't remember yeah, the actor's yeah, yeah. name, but great. He's it's somewhere in there, but phenomenal. it's not coming out right now. Like, he, he, I, I always thought that he was fine in Game of Thrones. He wasn't given he a lot, right? He never had anything to do. And I was always yeah. like, I, I wonder if I wonder how he got that role, right? Because you have to be a real... Like, he must audition so well because he is so talented. Oh, my God. And incredible. now that he's been given this character who has all of this material for him to chew through, mm -hmm. he is just... He's electric. Yeah. Like, this is a performance I was not expecting. Yeah. And he is at the center of this show. And who knows where the next six episodes go. I can't believe there's only seven. That's a weird season yeah. number. But uh, un unreal, right? Yeah. The, the monologue. And we we watched um, Andor episode 10 this week. So we yeah. got that, that Stellan Skarsgård's incredible monologue from that episode. A lot of amazing monologues. But the monologue in the church. Mm. Yeah. Un unreal, right? Yeah. Like. What a performance. And the way they shot it all from the side with the, the off light and the key light on the side. Like, I just. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'm I really in awe of it. Yeah. Well done. I'm excited to watch the next one. I like that was that. That was great. I just I crushed can't, it. I can't believe. Yeah. I can't believe they put so much in just the pie. This is like a season story. And they're like, nope, that's one episode. We got places to go. Yeah. And I want to see where that is. You know what it reminds me of actually is House of the Dragon. Mm. And I wonder if it's going to have a similar feel because of like the time jump of their relationship being over these periods. I wonder if it's going to be this was all of the important things that happened in this period of their life together. And I think Maybe. there's a possibility for that, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I could see that happening. Yeah. Oh, man, his mom uh, oh. blaming him. It's the most it's the most relatable real thing, right? Like, you know, you I, I totally understand it. I don't even get it. as I hate it. Right? I don't get it. She needs someone to blame and she has nobody. Because she can't blame herself. 
I don't know why you would need to blame somebody. That that I I know that it's a human thing. I know that like psychologically that many people have talked about this as a thing. Mm-hmm. It is not something that I have any kind of relation to at all. <laughs> I have like cuz he was up there and she wasn't and so she doesn't really know what happened. And so it's just it's 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 just so her about her son that she loves. She's like, I I just I don't I don't get it. I she's know that grieving. it's a she's thing. not behaving rationally, right? Yeah, and I know that that's a thing. Mm-hmm. I have been told that that's a thing. I understand that that's a thing. I I have absolutely no grounds to relate to it, and it was just it was just painful. Oh yeah, it was yeah. fully painful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you know, I just uh, it, it's one of the many ways in which the show does not pull a single punch, which it if every episode is this quality, this will be one of the great shows of the year in my opinion. Like that yeah. that was yeah. That was marvelous to take in. Yeah. And I'm just... Wild. Like, what a year of television we're getting. Particularly genre television. I know. We're so spoiled. And on AMC. Like... Yeah. It's just not you what I what? expect from that network. This was worth the $10 we paid for the month. You know what I mean? Like... Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's yeah, great. Yeah. I would love to watch this in theaters. Yeah. Well done. Episode two. Yeah. Come back for it. Come back. Uh, we'll be doing this every Monday through the rest of the year. So, uh, so <laughs> probably on like... Christmas Eve. We'll put the finale up, maybe. Is it? Is that, is that on a Monday? <clears throat> I have no idea, but that would be very funny. That Celebrate be- Christmas with vampires, bloodshed, and destruction. <laughs> Which is what a lot of people's Christmas dinner is like. Yeah, Just yeah, bloodshed yeah. and destruction. And blaming people for <laughs> things that they uh, had no part in. Nah, that's probably more Thanksgiving for Americans. Um, uh, especially if, like, you are, like, families, like, half of them are Jets fans, half of them are Giants fans. Like uh, The true tragedy of American history. <laughs> <laughs> Sports. I no, I think American history's had some uh, bigger tragedies than that. No, they always win, don't you know? Uh, except the War of eighteen twelve. And um, anyway, there's um, a list. <laughs> <laughs> hey, America! Remember when Canada visited last? Anyways, um, I'm so upset about Lily. I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to forgive Lestat for Lily. That was yeah, that sucked. I hmm, he's like, oh, she was living a shitty life. I was like, that's not okay. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see about that. Maybe we'll learn something about it. Maybe there will be... I don't think so. I think we're probably just going to move on from it, and that's going to have to be what it is. I think it's going to be a bone between the two of them forever, though. Yeah. Not the boner between the two of them. Uh, If you like this video, like and subscribe to this channel. (laughs) We love gay sex here. Uh, uh, (laughs) If you dislike the video, leave me in comments (laughs) down below. The algorithm god is hungry. We must feed her. Mm -hmm. In this episode, of course, that algorithm goddess will be Lily. May she rest in... Peace, unlike Louie, who will not rest at all. Uh, if you want to follow us around the internet, you absolutely can do that. I am at Nerdy Nightly. I am at Clarice Polaris. And as always, my friends, <gasps> do something nerdy tonight, you dang nerds. Bye-bye. Bye.